It'll be fine. Just typical Cooper House lunacy. So, Archie Kens, do you regret anything we talked about at my confirmation? The revelation that my father's more Al Capone than Elliot Ness? No. I'll get on my end. In that case, just to put it on your radar, a low-key turf war might be brewing between the Joneses and the Lodges. Veronica, are you trying to manage me right now? Define manage. People are gonna lose their homes. Jughead, why don't you come over with your dad and sit down with my dad and hash this out like civilized humans face to face? Okay. One condition. Your dad comes to Sunnyside Trailer Park. I want him to see the people that he's going to be displacing. Fine. And trust me, no one is being displaced. Oh my God, did you guys hear? My dad's scanner's blowing up. The police found another dead body this morning. There's blood everywhere. Could the black hood have risen from the grave? Did they say whose body? Where did they find it? The investigation's ongoing, but apparently it was a gruesome gangland-style execution at the motel. There's blood and brains splattered all over the duvet. Okay, Kev, we get it. <sighs> A bullet to the head? That is clearly a mafioso's doing. God, no sooner do I feel like I'm in a good place, some terrible thing happens, so somebody dies, and I'm immediately back in the place of what if my father's behind this? And making matters infinitely worse, I've now dragged you into this Martin Scorsese nightmare. Veronica, I chose to be with you, remember? To help you. Archie, I can't handle the not knowing. Then choose to believe in your dad. His business dealings might be shady, but at heart, he's still a good guy. I know that. You know that. Do I? Come here. Read me this. What do you So many vendettas against him. It was just a matter of time. And sadly, his time came the same night as my daughter's confirmation. But since you brought up Veronica's confirmation, she's the reason I came to see you. Has something happened? Is she all right? When she heard someone was murdered in Riverdale, the thought of you maybe possibly being involved is making her spiral. And I don't want to overstep, but you may want to clarify things with your daughter just to give her a peace of mind. I am, but first, Archie came by to see me. He said you were concerned. Daddy? No, no, it's all right. I'm glad he did. He cares about you. As do I. I have to tell you something, Mr. Lodge. The FBI approached me. I guess to be a mole or an informant to keep tabs on you. The FBI did? A few weeks ago. A few weeks? I didn't tell them anything. Well, what would you have told them? They asked me to plant a bug in here. A bug? I smashed it with a hammer. Mr. Lodge, this agent has been threatening my dad because I haven't given up any information, and I don't think he's gonna stop until I do. So why are you telling me any of this? Because I like you, Mr. Lodge, and I love your daughter, and I think Agent Adams is a lot more dangerous than you are at this point. Do anything to betray your family, I swear. So you've proven to me these last few weeks. Hiram and I, unbeknownst to our daughter, enlisted one of our closest associates to approach you. Say he was an FBI agent investigating Hiram. Agent Adams isn't real. He works for me. One of my capos. I asked him to apply a lot of pressure to you. Threaten your father, even. See if you would crack. Wait. This whole thing, this was all some kind of test? Yes. It was. And you passed. Welcome to the family, Archie.